year was 1879, and for a Maine lumberjack named Red Shack Jack, it had been a prosperous year indeed. After five hard years of prospecting for gold in the Black Hills of South Dakota, Red Shack struck it rich. His wayward and itinerant days behind him, he and his newfound fortune were headed home. His only souvenirs were his gold, a family portrait, and an oversized meat cleaver he called Belle. But as fate would have it, the train carrying him home was robbed on its way through Indiana, his fortune in gold stolen. Determined to get his treasure back, Red Shack tracked the robbers down to their hideout, nestled in a big woods where Porcupine Creek meanders in a huge loop. It was well protected, and there was only one way in or out of the acres that the creek encircled. He attacked in the middle of a fierce thunderstorm. Bell made short work of all but one of the thieves. Catching him on the bridge, Red Shack raised his cleaver high. There was a brilliant flash, a deafening clap of thunder, and the sound of splitting timbers as the bridge crashed into Porcupine Creek. Legend says that Red Shack Jack still wanders those woods, and that many a trespasser has crossed Porcupine Creek, never to be seen again. And the treasure's still out there? Yep, nobody's ever found it. Thinking of doing a little treasure hunting? Well, what an enchanting story. So you're telling me that this all happened on the site of our new summer camp? Kind of sounds that way, doesn't it? But Joyce managed to convince the board of directors that it's the perfect place for a kid's summer camp. It's kind of run down. The lodge hasn't been used in a while. And naturally, guess whose job it is to get it all fixed up before the first campers show up in a week. You really think we can pull this off in a week? I think so, if we can get enough help. There's the four of us and Joyce. I think I can get John to go. Hey, Rocky. No, I told you, I'm not in the ALP anymore. Come on, it's just to help out for a week. No, I've done my helping out. I'm gonna help me out for a change. Hey, Coop, what about Quentin? I think he'll do it. Especially if he knows he's gonna be stuck here with Rocky if he doesn't go with us. I heard that. Cooper, have your mom call me tomorrow. I'll pick up the keys on Friday, and we'll plan to leave on Sunday. Is that enough time for everyone to pack? Should be. Sure. Porcupine Creek, here we come. Perfect. Slackman. Hey, how you doing? Uh-huh. Oh, just the same old six and seven. What can I do you for? Yeah, Joyce, uh-huh. Oh, she's gone to that symposium, huh? Be gone for a while. Well, good for her. Yeah, I knew she was running a summer camp. And you need someone to supervise while she's away. Well, I could be persuaded. Uh-huh. No, it's not a problem at all. Glad to be of service. So tell me, is Rocky Brink still in the program? Hmm, interesting. All right, Bill, well, thanks for calling. Yeah, catch you around the office tomorrow. Good for me. The slack is back. Hey, John. Hey. What's all this? Funny you should ask. No. Come on, man, it's just a week. Hear me out on la, this. La, 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 la. I can't hear you, and the answer is still no. What if I said there's money in it? Read my lips. There is not enough money to get me to spend another minute in Mont Willy. We're not going to Mont Willy. And by the way, how much is enough? 50 bucks? 100. 200? Rocky's not going. 250, cash now. Deal, start packing. We leave Sunday. Hey, Mel. Bailey here. Listen, we got the camp, and you said to call if we needed any help. Looks like we'll be a little short-handed on the fix-up, so if you could make it down for even a day, we'd really appreciate it. We'll be there by Sunday night. Take 65 south to Highway 56, then go east to County Road 650 and follow it to the end. See ya if we don't get lost. Who's that? I was just leaving a message for Mal. He said he'd help out. 
Oh, great. Now we can have the ALP Vacation Bible School. Now, now what's that supposed to mean? It's all fun and games till someone goes to hell. Listen, I've got to go get the keys to the lodge from Joyce. You want to go with me? Just checking. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Bailey. Bailey. Hey, Joyce. Well, Bailey Bowman, here you are. What have you done with Joyce? On my honor, Joyce is alive and well. She's in Indianapolis at the IU Branch campus. When's she due back? Good question, but I'd be surprised if she weren't signing a contract with them right now. Joyce? Selling us out? You're full of it. Well, I wish it weren't so, Bailey, but this sort of thing happens in academia all the time. Here I had my summer all planned out, too. But alas, duty calls. No! Here you go, Bailey. Keys to the kingdom. I'll be down in a couple days to supervise. Enjoy your summer. Oh, Bailey, I'm so sorry. Can I buy you lunch or something? No, I'm going back to the house and shoot myself. Ben, was that a dead cat? Cat, yes. Dead, no. That must be some heck of a cat. Wait a minute, that's not the missing- For your information, Roberto here was a prisoner at the Hickman Park Nature Center. I'm doing my part for animal liberation by returning him to his natural habitat. Dude, that's like an endangered species or something. And you stole him from the Nature Center? I prefer the word liberated. No, I didn't steal him from the Nature Center. Roberto escaped on his own. I caught him in one of Dad's old have heart traps. So where are you letting him go? Why, Porcupine Creek, of course. Tell me this is not happening. The sedative should last until we get there. Then after we take him into the woods, all we have to do is pop the lid open from a safe distance, and away he goes, happy and free. Now shut up and help me get this out there. Bailey, I just want you to know how much I appreciate everything you've done for the boys. Cooper thinks the world of you. Thanks, that really means a lot. I just wish I could figure out what Rocky's deal is. He hardly wants anything to do with me anymore. Yeah, I know. I think it's an esteem and security kind of thing. Suddenly his admiring little brother is admiring someone else. He probably feels hurt, threatened by it. Maybe, but I still think I'm too hard on him sometimes. Hey, what's all this junk? We don't have any more room. Yeah, hey guys, only one firearm or explosive device per camper, please. Sorry, <laughs> those are the rules. Are you sure you want them back, Terry? Hey, John, glad you're back. Here, try some of this. Oh, thanks. Oh my, what is that? I'll give you three guesses. Want to buy a toothbrush? Get back here! Hey, what is all this stuff? I said there was no more room. It's my gear. Make room. Thanks a lot, Bowman. Well, looks like it's that time. Boys, it's time to go! Bye, Mom. See you in a week. You're, You're going? going? Somebody's got to keep an eye on Cooper. Will miracles never cease? No comment. See you, Terry. Are we there yet? Buckle up and hang on. Okay, looks like we just hop on 65 and head south a couple hours. Sound okay to you, John? John, I didn't know Rocky was coming. I'm just as surprised as you are, Jay, man. you're not the only one. Well, thanks a lot. How about we all just hold hands and sing? for that. You know what this means. Don't forget to say Kaddish. You 
all right, Rachel? You look like somebody just died. Yeah, someone died all right. You were looking at her. What happened? Wendy, they found out. They found out that I believe. We better get going. Wow, hey guys, listen to this. What you got, buddy? A long time ago, in Michigan, a wooden bridge collapsed for no reason. Turns out that porcupines ate the bridge. Apparently, they like man-made structures even more than trees. Oh, I wouldn't let John hear that. He's got a wooden leg. Ha ha, what does that have to do with anything? I thought the bridge at Porcupine Creek may have suffered the same fate, considering the name and all. Well, that's a good association, Cooper, but uh, porcupines aren't native to Indiana. Maybe they were the same porcupines. Vigilante porcupines. They hitchhike around the country, eating bridges out from under the bad guys. What is your deal? Probably that wooden stake through his heart. It's a long walk, kid. Seriously, man, what is eating you? Oh, nothing. Just the story of my life. I've got stuff I'd rather be doing, but somehow I'm here on a harebrained mission to save the world. Baby Attila's in the back seat, and the guy he tried to blow up is on his way. And soon I'll be roasting marshmallows at the site of a mass murder with a bunch of religious fanatics. All I need now is for Slackman to show up. I'll see if I can arrange that. Drinks? Hold up, thanks. Do in a clean glass? Just for you. Real please. You guys? Uh, cool. Tea, thanks. All ashore, he's going ashore. Oh, it's me. No trouble, I mean it. What's your deal, Zeke? Don't hassle the locals, John. He keeps looking at me. Are you the one that wanted the clean glass? All right, what do you guys want? I'll have a number seven. Six with rings. Uh, two of them come with You guys. Burger basket. Burger basket. Hey, uh, I need to get something out of the van, and I need Quentin here to help me get it down. Okay, get it and get back in here. And make sure you get it strapped back down the right way. So how are the facilities? Somebody wrote, God is love on the wall. Yeah, right. You have another opinion? No, I've got a question. If God is so all-loving, how comes there's so much stuff in the world? Answer me that. Tell me how a God that is all-love lets his creatures suffer and die. Is this a trick question? You know what? My grandma was the kindest lady in the world. She practically raised me. She took care of the neighbors. She did volunteer work. She gave money to charity. She went to church whenever doors were open. She prayed all the time. She read me Bible stories. She even taught me how to read. And what did all that get her? Cancer. And she spent the last five years of her life rotting in a stinkhole nursing home. And in the end, she couldn't even talk. So where was God? Where was this all-loving God of yours, Bailey? Why did he let this happen to his servant? Man, this is taking longer than I thought. The citizens will be wearing off soon. We gotta get Roberto some fresh air and some water. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna hold the lid down while I slip a bottle of water inside. There's probably a spigot around back somewhere. Over there. Aw, oh, wouldn't you know it? Right by that dang door. Hey, Red! Hey, what? We got a combo dog, two baskets, a lucky seven, and a Casa Diablo with rings. And check out back for that delivery. About time. You still haven't answered my question. There are reasons, John. I just don't have a quick answer ready for you. That's because there is no answer, Bailey. And there is no God. And any belief I had in that God died the day we buried my grandma. We gotta go. Now. What? Ah!
Okay, joke's over. Let's get back in the car and go to the real camp now. We can't, we're out of gas. But at least it's a roof over our heads. It's a silo. Did not, now shut up. It's a silo. At least it's a roof over our heads. And here come our gallon heroes to the rescue now. Here we are. Abandon all hope ye who enter here. Why do I get the feeling this place doesn't get cable? Ooh, Rocky, how was the trip down? Oh, more fun than a bobcat in a suitcase. And who is this? This? This is Zeke, and Zeke doesn't talk, but Bailey assures me he's helpful, house trained, and he isn't gonna kill us in our sleep, which is why I'm sleeping in the van. You're kidding me. Yeah, I'd say that about sums it up. What makes you so sure? Because I'm going to kill John in his sleep. Man, am I trying to keep something out? Or something in? Oh! oh. No! Something died in here. Yeah, twice. Man, what could smell that bad? Don't look at me. Ew. Come on, let's go get the gear. There's no door. This is a really big issue. There is no door. Oh, I think it's time for us to Don't leave. have to tell me twice. So does this camp have a name or what? Akueta. So what does that mean? It means... We are the brave Miami who ruled these lands until the sissy white boy came with his guns Rachel. and his fire water Rachel. and not to mention his social diseases. Rachel! Okay, so it means porcupine. What? If I had two dead rats, I'd give you one. Freak. Anyone seen Zeke? I haven't, uh, seen, him I haven't seen him. Man, I've never seen anyone work like that before. No kidding. Hey, and the rest of you guys did a really good job too. Yeah, I think we really got ahead of the game. Well, I can't believe we got the tents up today too. Rocky, I want you and the boys to pick one of the tents in the front row. Hey, how come Rachel gets to sleep inside? Because Rachel... Because Rachel is a peer counselor, not a case study anymore. That's why. So what's that supposed to mean? It means she gets to tell us what to do, stupid. Yep, get used to it. So what are we working on tomorrow? I think we'll clean up the grounds and pond tomorrow. If we get enough done, we'll probably take the afternoon off for some R&R. &R. When do we start cutting trails? Well, you know, I don't think this is going to be as big a job as I'd originally thought. If you want to take off tomorrow, no one will hold it against you, man. I might just do that. I'm going to bed. You guys go get ready too. Oh, man. Don't forget to brush your teeth! Hey Jen, you wanna buy a toothbrush? Don't let it go to your head, kid. 
get going. So, you mind telling me what that was all about? Yes. Out with it. Slackman's coming down. Pardon me, what? Cutter Slackman is back in charge. Joyce took a job at IU or something. I'm speechless. It gets better. Oh, by all means, do tell. Malachi's coming down too. So, you mean to tell me that you have arranged an all-star enemies grudge match on our little slice of paradise? That's about it. How did you ever manage it? I like to think it was over medication. Well, it looks like you got rid of John. Can't you just call Mathers? I tried. No cell reception down here. Isn't this the part where you say something kind and encouraging? Double your dosage. Sleep tight, Beetle Bailey. Wake up! What? I have two flat tires and Zeke is nowhere to be found. So call AAA. You can't get a signal out of this godforsaken place. Hey, just think real hard. Maybe you'll get somebody on the psychic hotline. I never trust a psychic who hasn't won the lottery. <sighs> oh, why does this always happen to me? Maybe it's because you're part of the great master plan whereby some individuals are singled out to have nothing for no reason at all. And here I thought it was just my bad attitude. Well, I'll be... Huh? You might be. Wow, you guys have been busy this morning. What? It's just breakfast. No, I mean, the grounds. It, it's all picked out. Most of the big stuff, anyway. Huh, that's weird. It must have been Zeke. I wonder where he went. Guess he'll show up when he gets hungry. Hey, does that mean I can go check out the woods now? Yeah, but not alone. Cool, Rocky. Let's go. I'm still eating. I'll go get my gear. Well, there's a happy camper. Quentin, you going with Lewis and Clark there? Nah, I think I'd rather be part of the search party. Okay, come on, let's go. Hey, wait a minute, that's Dad's hat. So what's your point? Let's go. Remember now, don't go too far. Hey, what's your heading, just in case? 137. Yeah, but what's your return? 317. The kid amazes me. What are you in such a hurry about? It's out here, Rocky. No one ever found it. Nobody ever found what? What are you talking about? The gold, stupid. Red Jack's treasure? We're going to find it. Are you nuts? That's just a legend. What makes you think we're going to find that in 20 square miles of forest? Because I have this. Will you come on already? We've gone far enough. Besides, these woods give me the creeps. Hold on, we're almost there. It should be... there! Wait up! Watch her! Wow! What? It's just a pile of rocks. Listen, Bailey's gonna be all over me if we don't get back soon. It's a landmark, and no, he won't. I'll tell him that was my fault. Dan, you'll get away with it, too. I'm going! You get away with everything, because you're everybody's favorite. I get busted no matter what. Just give me five minutes. No, now. What are you doing with Dad's stuff anyway? You never even knew Dad. Are you coming or what? Cooper, for the last time. Coop? Come on, Cooper, this isn't funny. Cooper? Welcome to the Devil's Staircase. Catch anything there, stink bait? You're going to be making one of the two major trips to the vet if you don't lay off me. Get away from me! When was the last time you had any fun? That's a good question. This place could use some fun, don't you think? You got that right. I found just the thing to liven this place up. You found a six-pack? I'm sailing, I'm sailing! Keep sailing, Bailey! <laughs> Fire in the hole! Take 
Take that, you scurvy dog. Anyone missing home yet? Cooper's missing his teddy bear. I don't have a teddy bear. I forgot how much I like camping. My family used to do it all the time when I was little. Me too. I think I've been to half the national parks in the country. <laughs> you ever play highway bingo? Yeah, I remember that. Anyone ever play cookout? Oh, I can't wait to hear this one. What? It's so fun. My dad and I used to play it all the time. On a hot summer day, you roll up all the windows in the car, turn the heater on full of blast, the first one to beg for mercy loses. Well, that explains a lot. So, Quentin, Bailey says you used to belong to a sailing club. We used to, but my parents have to be away a lot now. That must be rough during the holidays. Yeah, but it won't be like this forever. So, Coop, what did your family do when you were little? It's not open for discussion. Our dad used to. I said we're not talking about it. What about your family, Rachel? I don't have a family anymore. What do you mean? Simple. My family's Jewish. And everybody knows that Jesus ain't for Jews. And they found out that I believe. Let me get this straight. They found out you believed in Jesus and they kicked you out? Basically, as far as they're concerned, I'm as good as dead. But the ironic thing is, though, they aren't even religious. They go to temple maybe once or twice a year, but my brother can burn incense and chant like a Buddhist monk in the basement. But if you believe in Jesus, it's the end of your world. Now see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Religion screws everything up completely, splits up families, and justifies wars and every last kind of prejudicial excuse for sticking it to everyone who's not in the club. It's all about control, man. God's a crutch for the weak. Your grandmother didn't sound weak. You watch it, Bowman. So was it worth it, Rachel? Was Yeshua or Jesus or whatever you call him worth the price you paid? He paid the ultimate price for me. He never said it would be easy. But he did promise he would never leave or forsake me. And he hasn't. I can't believe this. What angels look like, Rocky? Is that what they look like? I might be right, Daddy. Yeah, you might be right. Rocky, that is beautiful. I thought you said your batteries were dead. I am. Um, found some fresh ones. Hey, Rocky. Hey, what? Did you bring the GPS Slackman gave you? No. Forgot it. Don't. Hey, will you turn that thing out so we can go to sleep? Sure. Ugh, Rocky, that was uncalled for. What? Why do you always automatically assume it was me? Ugh. Because you're the one that ate an entire package of hot dogs and s'mores and salsa. Yeah, you got a point. But if it was me, you'd be dead. Wait, never mind. It's Coop's teddy bear. Don't you ever wash that thing? I told you, I don't have a teddy bear. I suddenly believe you. Why is that? Because it just crawled up my arm and is sucking on my earlobe. Hey, you guys, quiet down in there. Oh, is it that couldn't get any worse? Uh, guys, a little help here? Don't anybody move. I think I can get the flap. Hey, what's going on in here? Come on, come on, good boy. Go to Rachel, go to Rachel. Well, hey, little fella. 
What are you doing out here? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, oh, rat. Oh, Wendy, guys. Oh. Hello, kitty. I'm going to kill Johnny Smith. Daddy, Dane's over here. I'm sorry, ma'am, but your husband's been killed. Raymond, no! Is Daddy with the angels, Mommy? Is Daddy with the angels? Lord rebuke you! Where are you going so early? Uh, same place as you? I mean, after that. I'm doing a little exploring. Got your compass? And a map. If I get lost, I can follow the creek back. Don't be gone all day. Don't let the porcupines eat you. Hey kid, you all right? Yeah, I'm just feeling a little alienated, that's all. Yeah. Maybe it's your perfume. All right, everybody, it's 11 o'clock. Rise and shine. Okay, yeah, okay, right. I get the point. Hot dogs and s'mores for lunch? There's more salsa left. I'm going vegan. Hey, um, Bailey, I'm not feeling so odd today. You mind if I stick around camp? Montezuma's salsa surprise? Well, uh, no. Well, then you can stick close to the rest of us. Go get John up. Come on, Coop. We're going into the jungle today, man. Ooh, his gear's gone. Hey, you guys seen Coop? No. John. John. Go away. You got up early this morning, didn't you? Yeah. Why? What's up? When? About 7 o'clock. Cooper's gone, and so is his gear. Yeah. He said he was going exploring with his map. Said he wouldn't be gone that long. That means he's been gone about five hours. You're kidding me. Have you guys seen the peanut butter? No, but I bet I know where it is. You two, sit down. We gotta talk. All right, what is Cooper up to? I have no idea, honestly, but he was asking Rocky about the GPS last night. That adds up. We're missing a topo map. And he was awfully anxious to get into the woods the other day. All right, all right. He found another map when we were cleaning up the other day. He thinks it leads to Red Shack's lost gold or something. He's all fired up about finding it. Look, he's probably been walking around in circles digging holes all day. You're probably right, but we better go track him down just to be sure. You know, there's someone else we're forgetting about, too. Who? Zeke. How long has he been gone now? One, two days? Oh, don't think that. 
don't even think that. He wouldn't still be hanging around. He didn't take any food with him. He probably headed for the highway and hitched a ride someplace. What about the peanut butter? Well, I had peanut butter yesterday. I hope you're right. Unless... Unless what? The legend is true. Rocky, Red Shack Jack does not haunt these woods. How can you be so sure? There have been people dying and disappearing in these woods for over 125 years. We've got two dead cars, two dead cell phones, and two missing people. We're completely cut off. There's something evil out there. I can feel it. Rocky is just a legend. Tell me about this map. Did he show you where he was going? Were there any landmarks? I didn't notice. I just wanted to get out of the woods. There was some pile of rocks that he kept calling the Watcher. Wait, remember? He said his heading was 137 degrees. All right, that settles it. Everybody grab a flashlight and a compass. Let's find this Watcher. There was a ravine over that way he was interested in. He called it the Devil's Staircase. Here's what I think. We'll fan out and stay within shouting distance. John and I will take the ends, Wendy in the middle, and you guys stay somewhere in between. We'll stay out here all night if we have to. I think we ought to stay on his original heading too. I agree. Let's go find him. Two hours back to camp. We're gonna have to bust our tails if we want to get back before this lets loose. And leave Coop out by himself? John, we don't have rain gear or shelter. We can't stay out here all night cold and wet, so what are we gonna do? You guys go on. I'm staying here as long as I can. I don't think we should split up, John. I don't care. You guys go ahead. I'll be back in a couple of hours. John, we are not splitting up. If you're so worried, go back and pray. Better take care of Sundown. Cutter Slackman, you got mail. Trash. Trash. Ah, birthday card. Best wishes on your special day. Dear Cutter, you always were a jerk. Love, Mom. Oh, Hallmark. Slackman. Hey, Cutter, it's Joyce. Well, Joyce, here you are. <laughs> what do I owe this great honor? Hey, I just wanted to let you know that things are wrapping up here a little sooner than we thought, and uh, I'll be heading off to camp first thing in the morning. Oh, really? Well, you sure you couldn't use a hand for a couple days? Thanks. But no thanks, Cutter. I think Bailey and Wendy probably have it all under control. Yeah, I'm sure they do. All right, I offered. That's nice. <laughs> take care, Cutter. Yeah, take care, kid. Well, Cutter, Porcupine Creek still sounds like a good place to get some fishing done, don't you think? Man, I've never seen lightning like that. That's one nightmare of a storm. This whole thing is a nightmare. Yeah, and now we have three people missing. What was I supposed to do? Tackle him? Chill out. I'm not accusing you, all no, right? No, you chill out. Yeah, nice. You seem to be taking charge here. Why didn't you stop? Well, somebody has to step up to bat. Well, swing away batter. Put one over the wall. 
Don't do this. I can get this at home. You guys could at least have prayed for warm rain. Oh, this would be real nice. Here's a blanket, John. You know, I think I'm actually glad to see you. You're gonna deal us or what? Guys, this would be a good time to pray. It's coming down in sheets out there. You can't see two feet in front of your face. I pulled. In everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Messiah Jesus. Please keep Cooper safe. We love Coop and all the ALP kids. Watch over him, Lord. Watch over him. Dear Father in heaven, you know all things, and you know where Cooper is right now. Please keep him safe. Please keep him safe, Father. Watch over him in this storm, and send your angels to protect him. Lead us to him quickly tomorrow, Lord. Avinu Malkinu, our Father, our King. We know that terrible things have happened in these woods in the past. And we know that we have a spiritual enemy who wants to destroy us. Our Father, our King. If there is a demonic spirit attached to these woods, hedge us in and protect us from it. Especially Cooper. Rebuke it in your name and send it away. Watch over us and lead us as we search again tomorrow. And Father, please comfort Rocky. The terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. For then I would fly away and be at rest. Lo, then I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. So uh, I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Dear God, I know everyone must be really worried about me. They're probably out looking for me, so please keep them safe. I'm probably going to be in big trouble, but like Rocky always says, if you're going to get busted, get busted for something big. Hope you're not too mad at me, God. Amen. I let him go. Could have been any of us. Well, if you told us about the Is anybody listening? Someone should go for help. Rachel, it's too far. Someone should hike to the highway where there's cell service and call the police. That's You're even wasting. better. You're wasting. Let's get our act like that. Everybody, shut up. I think good morning is the phrase you're looking for. There's no cell phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One at a time, please. Somebody, long story short. Cooper's lost in the woods, our cars are dead, and we don't have any cell phone service. And my ride just left. Boy. So what have we done so far? Where are we? We started a search... I had a search plan worked out. We started yesterday, but the rain stopped us. Well, let's see what you've got. It's, it's basically a two-pronged approach. Okay, but now that I'm here, why don't we break into three groups? Okay, John and Rocky, I want you to take the left. Wendy, Quentin, and Rachel, you go straight up the middle. Okay, you and I can take the right. We'll rendezvous back here at this island. Are we sure he's in this area? Yeah, he found a map when we were cleaning up. Rocky showed us some landmarks he was interested in, uh, right around here. I think we could make the island by 3 o'clock or so. Then we fan out like yesterday and sweep around the creek back to camp. Excellent. What about Zeke? Zeke? It's a long story. We sort of picked up a homeless guy by accident. He really helped us pick up the camp. Then he disappeared. When? About two days before Cooper. 
Lots and rust, five years, no treasure. Flat dead. I guess this is where that motor club membership pays off. If I had any cell service. Man, at this rate, we got another three hours before we reach the rendezvous. How do you know that? Oh, uh, just look at the map. <sighs> well, we better get going then. Is it ringing? Yeah, but I goofed and auto-dialed Malachi. Battery's about dead. Hold on. Dang, I got his machine. Mal, pick up. Mal, it's Bailey. Again, only dial 911 this time. No good. Battery's dead. Well, hope the fish are biting. Well, Cooper, what's it gonna be? Over or under?
Cooper can't expect to stay out here very long on only a jar of peanut butter. I wouldn't bet on it. He disappeared for three days once just to avoid a dentist appointment. Really? What did he bring for food that time? A candy bar and a couple of breath mints. Hey guys, we found it. This is what Coop was looking for. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, everybody fan out. Hey guys, look at this! Check it out, guys. He dug the whole place up. But I don't think he found what he was looking for. Yeah, look, this wrapper's fresh. He went this way. That means he's headed for the creek. He's going back to camp. Then so are we. Let's go. Look at these dates. Mostly kids. Yeah, all in the same year, too. Must have been the flu. There's Bailey's loving gosh for you. Man, it's bad luck just to see something like that. John, I got a really bad feeling about staying out here all night. I really think we should go back. Man, don't be such a wuss. I am not going back till I get both my hands on your brother's scrawny little neck. So, that IU job fell through? What are you talking about? The IU job. Slackman told me. Who told you? Slackman. Never mind. And you believed him? So he was really cleaning out my office? Yeah, he was taking out pictures and everything. Sheesh. What makes a person act like that anyway? I don't know. I really just feel sorry for the guy. The man's got no friends. Nobody likes him except that silly cat. Yeah, and he's faking it. I bet that's our island. Are we there yet? Yep, we're there yet. Oh, my feet are killing me. Hey, I'm gonna go down the creek a little farther. Do you mind? Sure, just uh, use your whistle if you need anything. Boy, I'm so relieved to find out Cooper's okay. No doubt. Hey, is this the shortcut to temporary? Hey guys, you won't believe what we found, he's okay! You found him? No, but we found where he's been. There's an old barn back there. He practically dug a basement before he gave up. Hey you guys! He went this way. You found tracks? And another peppermint wrapper. Rachel found a trail of peppermint wrappers that led us all the way to the creek. Rachel, you're a regular bloodhound. You just call it native instinct. I thought you said you are from the Lost Tribes of Israel. I am. Which one? Cherokee. Man, I wish we didn't have to wait for John and Rocky now that we have a hot trail. Maybe we don't have to. They're due to come out of the woods about a mile in the direction we're headed. We could get some sort of directional marker together, but is everybody up to it? Sure. Yeah. All right, then let's go get some kind of marker together and go catch our little fox. Weasel. Listen, I didn't mean what I said about your brother. And you know I'm going to be out here till I find him. I've been thinking. Dang! No way. I just put fresh batteries in this thing right before we left. Quinn. Don't panic. Don't panic. You just gotta find the creek. Now it's headed north, which means the creek is that way.
You are going to suffer for this. Hey, those are tough to clean, but I hear they're good eating. Yeah, tree bass. High in fiber. What are you doing here? I thought you bailed on the program. I did. I just came along to keep an eye on Cooper. Really? So, where is he? Oh, he's out here. Somewhere. Say, does your cell phone work out here? I'm afraid not. I'll bet your car's dead, too. Yeah, I think you could say that. You don't look so good, Rocky. You've been binging on s'mores and salsa again? Call it a weakness. What are you doing out here? For your information, I was supposed to be Camp Commandant for a while, but that all fell through. So, I thought, I'll get out, get a little fresh air, enjoy the country life, see the new ALP facilities, spend a little quality time with my old friends. What is it? What do you see? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Probably just my imagination. Rocky, why don't you tell me what's going on out here? You know you can trust me. How are you doing? I'm beat. Oh, come on, kid. It's just a rough day at the fashion mall. Wendy tells me you two are going to be roommates. That's news to me. I guess she told you what happened with my folks, huh? Yeah. My parents aren't bad people. They just... Oh, you wouldn't understand. I don't know. I might. You too? Yeah. Me too. How we doing, Navigator? Well, if we're here, it's about four miles to the lodge. He's probably already there. I hope so. Good job with the map today, by the way. Thanks. You know, I'm getting a little concerned about John and Rocky. Maybe we should have waited. They'll be fine as long as they don't split up. So, what's gonna happen to Cooper once this is all over? Well, presuming he's all right. I'm stringing him up by his toes. Unless he's loaded with treasure. Yeah, unless. You know, I kind of admire the kid. He risked it all to find that treasure. Fear, danger, punishment. He didn't let anything get in his way. Now that's faith. Oh, I agree. But I'm still stringing him up. So you mean to tell me that John Koosman let Cooper go on some wild goose chase out here all by himself? Well, no, not exactly. Well, what then exactly? Dr. Slagman, it's getting late. I don't want to spend the night out here. Can we please get back to the lodge? No. No, we won't make it by dark. So, uh, let's get up to higher ground, get a fire started, and you can tell me all about it. Oh, hey, I've got cigars and beef jerky in my pack. Oh, just like Mama used to make. It's always better straight out of the can, isn't it, kid? I think so. So you really thought you'd find that treasure, huh? Yeah, especially after I found that map in the lodge. I thought since someone else had actually been looking for it, it must really be out there. Turns out they didn't find it either. I suppose I don't have to tell you, kid. You got everybody worried to death. Yeah, I'll probably be grounded till I'm 30. But I just wanted Mom to be able to quit work and spend more time with us at home. Well, I guess it would be worth all the trouble then, wouldn't it? Well, thank God you're all right. Hey, Mr. Mathers. Hey, what? You're a preacher, so you know about God, right? Well, I hope so. 
Why do you ask? I was wondering something. John says that God is just a crutch for weak people. Hmm, well, yeah, I guess I agree with that statement. Really? Think about it. A crutch really doesn't do any good unless you lean on it. Let it carry your weight. Let it hold your burden. Then it really works. I think I get it. See, most people end up going through life hobbling and crawling. And they never seem to want to use God's crutch. But once they do, they find out that that's one crutch that will never let them down. So is that why God makes people suffer? Kid, don't you ask any easy questions? Rockford, listen, I know you're worried about your brother, but I know Cooper, and he's out here somewhere having a big laugh on us. Tomorrow, we're going to go find him, you and me. And then we're going to put an end to this incompetence and irresponsibility. We're going to put the right man for this job back in charge. Then you'll be sitting pretty again. All the goodies and gadgets, just like before. So tell me. What would you think about a new camcorder and some video editing software? Just think what you could do with that. I'd say it wasn't our fault. Well, no, it wasn't your fault. It was that comedy troupe that Joyce put together. I mean, why didn't anybody go for help? Because our cars are dead, our cell phones are dead, and it's 10 miles to anywhere. We're doing the best we can under the circumstances. Oh, and I suppose John letting you go half sick and so close to dark, that was the best he could do under the circumstances. He didn't let me go. I chickened out and ran away. Okay, I'm confused. Rockford, I've never known you to be afraid of anything. Yet, with your own brother lost in the woods, you abandon the safety and security of a search party to slink back to camp and hide in your tent. What is going on here? I hate these woods. They're evil. It freaks me out. This whole place freaks me out. John and I found a graveyard. It was all kids. It's like his place is cursed or something. Well, I'm sure that was unsettling, but it's probably just primal fear kicking up. You know, a boogeyman out of the dark corners of your mind. No, it's not that. My dad, he was killed in the woods when I was four. Mom always said it was a hunting accident, but I found the police report. What'd it say, Rock? He was murdered. Poachers are marijuana growers. They never caught him. Listen, Rocky, uh, you guys did the right thing. You were doing the best you could do under the circumstances. Now, they're going to find Cooper tomorrow, and he's going to be okay, I'm sure of it. Besides, you know, if uh, he's tough enough to steal old Red Shack's gold, then uh, he's sure tough enough to spend a couple nights out here by himself. <laughs> I mean, you remember the time he disappeared for three days over the dentist's appointment? It's not Red Shack I'm worried about, it's Zeke. Zeke, uh, I don't know that legend. It's not a legend. It's some homeless guy we picked up on the way down here. He helped us clean up the camp, then disappeared about three days before Cooper. You guys brought a bum out here. Now let me ask you something. Okay, shoot. Do you think Bailey, John, and Wendy and the rest of them are worried absolutely sick about you right now? I guess they probably are. I'd say definitely. They don't know whether you're dead or alive. I'd say they're worried. They're suffering. I guess I never thought of it that way before. Now, who's making them suffer? God? No, it's me. But why does God let bad things happen to good people? John's grandmother went to church all the time, but she got cancer and died. Well, that's a tough one, isn't it? There are a lot of reasons God allows people, good or bad, to suffer. Why don't you reach in that fire and give me one of those hot coals right now? No way! Why not? Because I'll burn my hand, that's why. You bet you will, but that pain tells you there's something wrong. It tells you when something's broken. So I guess it's like a whole world is broken then. Boy, you're really one smart kid. That's right. 
see, we live in a broken world full of wounded people, and God expects us to be his patches and band-aids till he decides the time is right to fix it. The Bible says that God comforts us in all of our suffering so that we're able to comfort others with the same kind of comfort that he comforts us. A lot of people realize for the first time in their life that God really loves them when suffering comes into their life. Do you understand? I think so. Hey, you know who I saw on the other side of that ridge? I'll play your silly little game. Who? Oh, a old slacker himself. <laughs> What's he doing here? What do you say we go ask him? I'd love to. Oh, the ghost of Red Shack Jack. Yeah, that one rates right up there with the House of Blue Lights and the Beast of Churubusco. Except that thing was real. I thought you didn't believe in that sort of thing. Well, now, I never said I didn't believe in spiritual reality. I just deny that it came down here and died for my sins and rose from the grave. Say what? What do you mean, what? Didn't Bailey tell you? Tell me what? Oh, that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. No. You're kidding me. He didn't take you to old man Mathers and dunk you in the river? Tell you that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead that you'd be saved? You'd be dancing forever on streets of gold in the new Jerusalem, singing praises to the Savior. <laughs> I'm disappointed in that boy. Some fine mentor he turned out to be. How do you know about all that stuff? The Bible? Come on, I've read it from cover to cover. I teach folklore for heaven's sakes. Or hell's sake. Rocky, is that you? Cooper! John, over here! John! You? Well, John Kuzma, here you are. Well, don't just stand there, John. Pull up a log and join the party. Rocky here was just telling me all about the big adventure. Says you're to be commended. Cigar, John? <laughs> Well, if it isn't Grizzly Adams and Eve. <laughs> Your pockets are very full of gold. No, just moths and rust. How are the kids, Mal? Fine, I saw them in church on Sunday. Hey, is that your red car I saw on the creek? No, it's a Russian submarine. Captain Slakarov at your service. Sanctified windbag. Wait a minute, where's Rocky? Where's Rocky? Rocky! Rocky, Rockford Clay Brinks, come on back. It was just a couple of trick-or-treaters. Answer me now, Rocky. What have you idiots done? Rocky? Rocky? Rocky, where are you? Rocky, answer me, Rocky. Rocky? Rocky, come on. Rocky! 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 Rocky, come on! Rocky! John Kuzman, can you hear me? Mathers, you pontifical primate, where are you? Okay, get a grip, Slackman. You're lost. You're hyperventilating. You're just gonna have to ride this one out till morning. At least you're not to blame for this one. I am not to blame. This is not my fault. This is your fault. Your people screwed this up in typical fashion. And if anything happens to those boys, you're to blame, not me. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're just a figment of the collective imagination. And I will burn before I believe in you. You hear me? Are you listening? I will burn before I believe in you. Rocky! Rocky! Oh my God! Rocky, you all right? This can't be happening. 
Rocky. Oh no. Oh, please tell me you're breathing. Barely. Hey, Slackman, anyone? I can't move you, I can't leave you, I can't help you. I can't do anything. God, God, please, don't let Rocky die. I'm praying for a miracle. Please, God. Hello, is anyone down there? Hey, we're down here. How long has it been this way? I don't know, maybe all night. You haven't moved him, have you? No, uh-uh. Looks bad, but he's still with us. 119 to dispatch. Go ahead, Marty. Yes, I've got a white male, approximately 15 years of age, unconscious, severe head, neck, and back trauma. I need immediate air transport. Got a dispatch. Better say a prayer for this one. It's gonna be a tough one. Who are you? Sorry, Marty Kinzer, Okiowa Fire Rescue. This your boy? No, he's just a friend. How'd you find us? I off road here sometimes. When I saw the car in the creek, I thought I should look into it. I was up on the West Access Road when I came across an old guy in a winter coat screaming about someone being hurt down here. Seems he knew exactly where you were. When I turned to ask him a question, he was gone. Weird. Listen, there's going to be a ride waiting for you at the bridge. We've got to get in touch with this boy's parents as soon as possible. There's our angel now. This boy pulls through to save his life. more supplies. Can you think of anything else for me? Six ply toilet paper, a gallon of calamine lotion, and skunk repellent. <laughs> Believe me, that is definitely on the list. All right, let's go. John, hey. Well, looks like you guys had a great time here. Yeah, it was a phenomenal success. So what are you doing down here? Eh, just thought you guys might need some help cleaning up for a second session. Well, yeah, thanks. We could really use the help. So how's Rocky doing? He's okay. I bought some comic books and ice cream for him yesterday. He's still having headaches, but no permanent damage, thank God. Amen to that. Slackman's making sure they have everything they need. You know, Cutter actually got us a satellite phone and radio. It's crazy. So, what else do you know? I want to be baptized. You want what? I want to be baptized. Well, John, that's only for people who... I know. I gave God my heart when I was a child, but I walked away from him. I want God back in my life. I need God back in my life. Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Hey, does this mean I get my money back? Come and get it. <laughs> Cooper never did find the gold he set out for, but through his adventure, each of us uncovered within ourselves the greater treasures of true friendship, forgiveness, and faith. Treasures laid up not on earth, but in heaven.
Perfect, do it again. Perfect, do it again. Perfect, do it again. I'm Andrew Harmon. That was great, but do it again. Perfect, do it again. That was awesome. You're so cool. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> That thing scares me. Not right. Bobcat leg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. We got that. We got a photo of that. That's awesome. Like mama used to make. Mmm, cigars. <laughs> you know what kind he got? He's got swishers, man. Cool. Swishers. Mmm. Yeah, did, 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 did I make it out of the frame? Mm. Yeah, you did. That was that was almost perfect. There you go. And <laughs> you want to kind of. Sorry, big bug. Sorry. I think it's gonna be a... Everybody back there, stand still. Okay. Quiet on set. Go. Oh. Paul made a face at me. Sorry. Don't Zeke, you oh, shut okay. up and behave yourself. All right. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Right there. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't film it. Kill it. Just love it. Oh, hey, look. Check that out. Oh, get that. Get that. Oh. Bad luck to even see something like that. He is cruising. <laughs> what an awesome. And it is done. I mean, can I get rid of this dumb thing? It looks like roast bat right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it looks. I don't know what this thing looks like. The letter of the day. Can you blow it out? Step one step in, John. Got some fire. Some of these things. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I could blow a Charlie Charlie ticket. Could you kill? Come on, I'm sitting down here. <laughs> <laughs> This is don't say tomorrow. Look okay? at the grass. Look at the grass. Yeah. What grass? <laughs> Stop! Stop your tap! Very nice. Okay, go ahead, go. Go, you ready? Okay, you ready? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Cigar, John? Boo, you silly boys, run! It's the cake! Will that pick up garlic? Yeah. Okay. Strong one. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go again. Ah! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your faces! Perfect, do that again. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your faces. <laughs> do, it, do it without the fart this time. Oh, you didn't want the. <laughs> okay, go. Uh, <laughs> you should have seen the look on your faces. Okay, what's it? Go ahead. <laughs> 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 Oh, God, that is go. <laughs> I can't grab it, but I mean, it was my fault. Go ahead, go. <laughs> you are such a jerk. You are such a total jerk. I love it. Good job. Get out of there, walk on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you put it below, he'll go up. Ew. Oh, an attack is what he did. <laughs> Rachel's right. Somebody should hike to the highway where there's cell service and call. We're wasting That's time. Let's get no, our act together and go. I agree. Like We're. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. <laughs> well. <laughs> We're saying stuff just indiscriminately. <laughs> <clears throat> Rachel's right. Somebody should hike to the highway where there's cell service and call the police. We're That's even not better. wasting our time. No, Let's get our act together and go. Like like Everybody, that. shut up. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna work. I have a wedgie! should have waited longer. We really got into it. Rachel's right. Somebody should hike to the highway where there's still inspection. Don't get me started. TMI. Shut up. Ready? Yes, we're ready to go. Rachel's right. Somebody should hike to the highway where there's still inspection. And punch guards in the face. Be sure to blur that all together. Yeah, I'll see you around the office tomorrow. Later, Bill. Good for me.
The slack is back. Perfect. Slackman. Oh yeah, hey, how you doing? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I forgot my line. Yeah, she'll be gone for a while. Great for her. The slack is back. <laughs> Do it again, right? <laughs> Let's try it with lightning. Alrighty. There is not enough money to get me to spend another minute in Mont Willy. I can find the straw. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> and you don't have to do that perfect. Garbage in. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Okay, guys, everybody. Oh. 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 <laughs> you all right? You look like someone just died. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you all right? You look like someone just died. <laughs> I bet that was amplified on. Talk you down. Come on, <laughs> therapy. <laughs> My dad says, oh, that's my daughter. You ever get lost in a crowd, just start blowing your nose. His eyes have to fit. And then does she say we better get going in that same yeah, breath? Yeah, she also, yeah, just right there. Eh. Okay, everybody has to be quiet. Okay, I'll put your glasses on before you look down. Okay, okay, ready? Go. go. Wendy, they found out. They found out that I believe. Go ahead, just start yelling. Ah! 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 Get off of me! No! No! What? Ah! <laughs> okay. Al McCoy is mighty brave. <laughs> What's that? Mommy! Mommy! Perfect, do it again! Perfect, do it again! Perfect, do it again! Man, I can't believe he fell for that old Baptist <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>